In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create Microsoft Forms for feedback. Starting off, imagine you've just wrapped up an event or project and you're buzzing with curiosity about what your participants thought. How did they feel? What went well? What could be better? The feedback loop is vital, but the process of gathering that feedback, not always as straightforward as we'd like, enter Microsoft Forms, a user-friendly tool that can make the process of gathering feedback both efficient and effective. First off, you'll need to navigate to Microsoft Forms. It's as simple as a quick search online, or for those acquainted with the Microsoft ecosystem, probably a tool you've already spotted in your dashboard. Once there, the real journey begins, signing in, hit the sign in button and prepare to enter your digital gateway. But wait, you'll be prompted to enter your email address. Remember, this is your professional or educational address linked to your Microsoft account. After punching in your email, move on to the next step with a click on, well, next. Following this, it's time for your password. It's that unique key, only you should know, so enter it cautiously. Successfully done? Fantastic. Click next once more, and behold, the gateways to the forms dashboard unveil themselves. Now, let's not dawdle at the entrance. Venture forth into the Explore Templates section. Templates are like your GPS in uncharted lands. They guide you through the terrain of creating your form without getting lost in the process. Once inside, look for Post-Event Feedback Survey. This treasure trove is specifically designed for the purpose at hand, gathering participant feedback after an event. Here the real creative process begins. Clicking on it opens a world of customization options. This is where your vision comes to life. You have the power to tweak and tailor everything to fit the unique vibe and need of your event or project. The template is merely your starting block. From here, you're the sculptor. Each question, the phrasing, the types of responses you're seeking, it's all malleable. Modify it to reflect the essence of what you're keen to learn from your participants. It's not just about asking questions, it's about asking the right questions in the right way. Remember, the goal here is twofold. To make the form an easy, even enjoyable experience for those filling it out, and to ensure you gather actionable, clear data you can actually use to make informed decisions moving forward. Pay attention to the flow of questions, the clarity of each, and consider the overall user experience. Forms should be accessible and engaging, not a chore. As you customize, think about the kind of responses you need. Open-ended questions can provide nuanced insights, but they're also more demanding for the participant. Multiple choice or like at scales, on the other hand, streamline the process for both you and the respondents, providing clear, quantifiable data that's easy to analyze. And there you have it, your very own Microsoft form for gathering post-event feedback, customized to your specific needs, and ready to go out into the world. Once your masterpiece is complete, distribute it widely, share it via email, embed it on a website, or even across social media platforms to ensure it reaches all your participants. Then sit back and wait for the insights to roll in. Creating a feedback form might seem like a small task, but it's a critical step in the cycle of any project or event. Feedback is the breakfast of champions, as they say, and with Microsoft Forms, you're well equipped to serve up a feast of insights that can drive your future endeavors to new heights. Thank you for joining me in this video. Dive in, get creative with Microsoft Forms, and start transforming feedback into your runway for growth and improvement. Happy form creating.